Hello, I'm Dr. David Berselli and what I want to talk about in this very short video is the natural tremor or shaking mechanism that generally occurs in human beings when they are under some sort of stressful or traumatic experience. This tremor mechanism has been very well documented and recognized in stressful experiences before, during, or even after the stressful or traumatic event. What I want to do is tell you something that I've recognized about the shaking mechanism that has yet to be researched in science. First of all, let's look and ask questions about this tremor mechanism. It's really been recognized in three different fields of study. In the field of psychology and the field of neurology and the field of physiology. Now all three of these fields have something different to say about the tremor mechanism. The field of psychology talks mostly about this tremor mechanism in the diagnostic statistics manual. In that manual, they usually recognize four different categories where people may experience these tremors. They could experience these tremors or these um, shaking uh, episodes in the body either from panic attacks social phobia, generalized anxiety disorder, or post-traumatic stress disorder. What's been recognized in the field of psychology under the term psychogenic tremors is that somehow some emotional state of the individual excites the autonomic nervous system to the degree that it actually begins to tremor the organism. However, that excitation and the tremoring is seen as more of a pathological expression of the body. And I would like to suggest that this somehow is a helpful mechanism in the autonomic nervous system. But let's look at the field of neurology. Neurology also has studied this tremor mechanism in the body and it generally refers to them as what's called neurogenic tremors. And these neurogenic tremors are recognized in happening in over 10 different categories in the human body. Okay? The most important ones, however, are what are considered rest tremors or postural tremors. Because under those two categories in the field of neurology, the person is recognized as having potential post-traumatic tremors. So the field of neurology recognizes these tremors also as some type of post-trauma or post-stressful event and they put them in the categories of rest tremor or postural tremors. Once again, the tremors are seen more as a pathological expression of the body than potentially something healthy and useful. The last field of study I want to look at is the field of physiology and in that field they have recognized that there's such a thing as physiological tremors in the body. Now, they have shifted from seeing these tremors or this body shaking as pathological to potentially something very useful. When we look at the history of tremors as researched in the field of physiology, we see way back in the 1960s in rhythmic neuromuscular stimulation that they actually built vibrating platforms or vibrating exercise machines as a way of stimulating tremors or shaking or vibration in the human body because they found it particularly useful for the body. After the 60s and into the 70s, it actually became known as vibrational therapy. So it was actually being used in physiotherapy programs. Then later on in the 90s, it became known as biomechanical stimulation because they were using exercise or external vibrating machines to help vibrate the human body to a certain frequency recognizing that the, the vibration was in fact producing something that was helpful for the body. 
Then we get into around 2000, 2002 when it began to develop into what was called whole body vibration. And particularly in Europe, that's where this started to take off as a therapeutic method and vibrating platforms were now and continue to be used in a lot of gymnasium or health clubs. Okay, so we see that psychology and neurology took it up more in a pathological expression. Physiology took up vibration of the body and muscle tissue in a more positive way. What they discovered as they vibrated the body at various frequencies is that they had very positive effects on the structure of the human organism. There was increased mobility and flexibility. They discovered that it helped the circulation of blood. It actually reduced pain from injuries faster and it increased the relationship between the neuromuscular body and the physiology of the structure that there seemed to be somehow an improved communication within the whole system itself. And as a result of that, the rates of healing of injuries actually improved. They were able to heal faster. Now, what, what I would like to talk to you about by trying to follow this same field of studies and using a nomenclature that might be familiar to these fields of study is I want to talk to you about self-induced unclassified therapeutic tremors. What I mean by this is I developed a technique where we actually deliberately activate the tremor or shaking mechanism in the human body in a safe and controlled environment and allow the tremor mechanism to actually move through the structure of the organism autonomically. So it is actually an active intervention that you then allow passively to overtake the organism or the human body. I've been teaching this in many countries around the world for many years. The results have been consistent and what the results demonstrate is that by activating the tremor mechanism in the human body it has two very positive effects. It both down regulates the excited autonomic nervous system and restores the person back to a homeostasis and it also improves the physical health of the human structure. So it also has the same effects that are studied in physiology by using external vibrating machines and it has the same effect that you would see in the field of psychology and neurology where it actually calms down the human organism. What I have discovered with these self-induced unclassified therapeutic tremors is that it appears to be the autonomic nervous system's response to the activation of some stimulation. Not only does the body squeeze up, get excited by the charge of the event, but when the event is over, the body activates itself, its own shape shaking mechanism to actually calm itself down and to restore its own homeostasis. By introducing this shaking artificially in a safe environment, it seems to allow the human body to complete the discharge that was in some way aborted at the time of the traumatic or stressful event. And by completing the discharge, it has two powerful effects of reducing the anxiety and restoring the homeostasis psycho-emotionally, as well as reducing or releasing the contracted state of the human body where the person held at the time of the stressful event. So as a way of demonstrating...